Buying a project at the right price takes time. You must be selective and invest only in projects with Hello and welcome back. Along with the economic uncertainty, there start to be many great projects coming into the market. You will see properties as selling with great discounts. During 2018, the Fed increased the Fed fund rate a few times and the stock markets also went down that year. Even back then, I saw many great opportunities for my growth real estate bucket in the Austin market. I invested in a few projects in 2018 and today I am sharing this one small project to show you when you know a real estate market well, you can confidently acquire projects with a higher rate of success while mitigating your investment risk. Because you understand your numbers, this can help you to decide what you can do now in order best position yourself for the future. How can I select a market and find a project to acquire? Why did I decide to acquire it? And what are the two exit strategies I have for this project? What lessons have I learned from it? If this is your first time visiting my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. My name is Koyan and I am a real estate investor since 2001. I make videos to share my real estate investment journey that got me to be financial independence after eight years of investing in cash flow properties. I hope to inspire you to invest in cash flow real estate so you too can achieve your financial independence, build a legacy, and make an impact on people around you. How did I select a market and find a project? I invest in real estate market where I understand the macro and the micro data. I started to invest in the Austin market in 2006, acquiring bank owned properties, and I still have these projects. As soon as I moved to Austin in 2015, I wanted to invest in more residential properties in this market. Here are some of the market data that got me interested in this market. The population growth in Austin is around 2-3% annually. Many high-tech companies have opened new offices or moved their headquarters into the area. Big names like Oracle, Tesla, Apple, Samsung, and Snap. These are just a few companies that have moved to Austin in the last few years. There was a period when it was taking long time to find good deals on houses. So I decided to buy land and develop them instead. When done right, new development can be cheaper than buying existing homes. Just like homes, the location of the land is important. The new development projects yielded great returns for me. And oftentimes, I had multiple offers when they were sold. As a side note, one of my personal motivations here is also to teach our older sons about real estate investing, both in the existing home and new development. The zip codes I invest in are located within three miles radius of downtown Austin. I spent a few months monitoring the price changes in the zip codes and after a few months, some of these lots reduced their prices. I saw great opportunity to make offers on them. For a few projects, I pay cash, so I was able to ne negotiate for additional discount. Cash offers always make things better in negotiations. I typically get into projects with leverage and some without. Why did I decide to invest in this lot? One of the lots I purchased was with leverage. This lot was purchased 10% below market value. The lot was able to qualify for traditional financing because it has a small home in a livable conditions. So I only need to put down 25% and finance the rest of 75%. 
the existing property can be rented out to pay for the mortgage payments while waiting for the building permit approval. I also wanted to build other lots that I pay for cash first because I had more risk exposure when more money was invested. I have to share with you that I had a little luck on this lot than other lots. Shortly after my purchase transaction of this Pacific lot was closed, I got an offer from a developer who wanted to buy my lot along with my neighbors who own three other lots, forming a four consecutive lots include my new land. To combine all this lot together, the developer would get one acre. They offer $90 per square foot. Based on my lot size, my lot value about $750,000. On the other hand, my neighbor wanted to sell his lot at 110 per square foot. As of recording, this zip code ranging from 80 to 120 per square foot, they are small lot size. I can understand my smart neighbor who did his homework and know that 110 per square foot is achievable and the lands are actually worth more than that when the developer combine all four lots to develop 20 units of buildings. My original exit plans, number one was build two properties and exit with nice profit like other lots that I did. Plan number two, build to rent for a long-term holding as a legacy asset given the location is very close to downtown with many high-tech companies within three mile radius of the location. There will be a lot of room to capture appreciation when there is no more land in this zip code. My new plans now, number one is I will develop it to keep it long-term holding when the supply chain is more stable with more predictable timeline for the completion. Plan number two is consider selling with a right offer and 1031 exchange for a bigger project legacy assets like triple net properties. You may want to know how much I pay for this lot and how do I know I gain 400000 The acquisition price is 300000 The down payment is 25%. 75000 plus the closing cost come out to be 82000 The loan amount is 225000 Developer offer price is 750000 Subtract the purchase price. Subtract the closing, closing cost. The equity gain after selling cost uh, would be about 400000 So with 82000 invested, the paper equity gain is 400000 What is the percentage annual return then? It's about 487% divided by 4 years, so 121% a year. Austin currently experienced a home price correction, and I do know that zip code is also get affected. As of rec this recording, the price is starting to correct. I am not concerned with this project, given I acquired it at great price. And even with the home price correction, say that 30%, my invested money is safe. I do not plan it to sell in the doubt markets, so I am safe there. Also, the rental income cover for the mortgage expense. So what I learned from this one project, when you are well versed in one real estate market, you can spot opportunities when they present themselves. I recommend everyone should spend time getting to know their target real estate market well before investing. Buying a project at the right price takes time. You must be selective and invest only in projects with high certainty and have mitigation plan in case unexpected events happen to your investment. It helps to underwrite deals daily. You will not need a lot of money relatively to buy a project because lender will lend money to the right projects. So having a couple of exit plans give you a clear path to make decisions thoroughly. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, then please subscribe to my channel and also click the thumb up as 
a way to support my channel and let me know you enjoy this kind of content. So share with me in the comment below if you have invested in similar projects like this ones we just discussed in what real estate markets. Thank you so much for watching. Let's learn, invest, and make an impact. Ciao!